Hello everyone, this is Nancy. We're doing a canvas painting today called Birds on a Wire. And I have written down some supplies that we need. We're going to need any size canvas that you want to use. Today I'm using a um, 9 by 12. You're going to need paint, and I use acrylic paint. You can find at Walmart. I'm using a variety of colors. I'm using light blue, white, yellow, green, another blue, pink, and red. We're also going to need a um, foam brush is easy to use when doing the background. And I'm using a fine tip brush for detail work. And believe it or not, we're also going to be using our finger today to paint the birds on the wire. This is usually for ages five and up, but it's for anyone who just enjoys to paint. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to lay our canvas down. And remember this paint usually does not come out of clothing, so be careful. And we're gonna start painting the background light blue. So I'm going to dip my paintbrush in the light blue. And when you're painting, it's best that you lay your brush down on the side, it covers more area. So we're going to paint the entire background. I have a little bit of help today. You might hear him in the background. And there's Otis. He's our helper today. And he has a sister named Lucy that's chilling out in her bed. So after we get the blue painted, and remember, we can make it streaky like the sky. Does not have to be perfect. So we're just going to cover the entire canvas with that pretty blue. Now that's about right. And I've also added white to my palette. So let's add white and get some streaks of white, just like a pretty sky. Just going back and forth horizontally until you get that finish painted. So now what we're going to do is we're going to let that dry for a few minutes. And then we're going to come back and add the wire that the birds are going to sit on. So let's let that dry for a moment. Okay, our background is almost dry. Now we're going to start with our small tip paintbrush. And I'm going to dip it in the black. And this is what our wire is going to be on our canvas. I'm going to start on one side. I don't like to make a perfect line. And I'm going to do three of these going horizontal on the canvas. So those are the wires that our birds are going to sit on. If you notice, they are not perfect at all. So we're going to let that dry onto the next step, which is our fun step. We get to finger paint. Okay, we're back everyone. Now that our lines have been drying, we are ready to start finger painting. So I'm going to take my palette of colors. And I'm literally going to stick my finger down in that color. Maybe dab off a tad, and I'm going to put it on my canvas, different spots. This one's going to be standing above the line. I'm going to make different sizes, different shapes of birds. Yes, that one is going to be below. Then we'll go to our next color. I would put about three dots per color. It's up to you. You're welcome to use any colors that you like. I like to make large birds, small birds. I 
Okay, I think that will do. Now, after you finish doing your finger painting, of course, go wash your hands and get ready for our next thing. And we're going to use a Sharpie marker, marker sorry, to add details to our birds. So let that dry, dry, take a break, and we'll be back. Hi, everyone. We're back. I've let the little dots dry that we painted with our fingertips, and now we get to add our details to our birds. So I'm going to start. I'm going to add a beak to each one, an eye, and some tail feathers. You can be as creative as you want. And you just keep going until you get all your birds fixed on your wire. Don't forget to add some looking down, some looking up. Let this little guy look upside down. And there we go to finish up our cute little birds. There we are, birds on a wire, all finished. Now if you really wanna add some detail, you could take your canvas and paint the edges a different color if you wanted to. That would be really pretty. Or sometimes I've even hot glued a pretty ribbon around the edges and then hung that by the ribbon also. So I hope you've enjoyed your birds on a wire Have a great summer.